Okay, good day students and welcome to our class for today. This is already our fifth week, our first lesson, first out of three lessons for week number five. So today, uh, you're going to learn about conjunctions, prepositions, and interjections, but in this video, we are only going to talk about conjunctions, okay? Now, uh, let's, ha uh, let's see first what are we going to learn today. So today, we are going to learn what are conjunctions. So, and we're also going to identify the types of conjunctions. What are the types of conjunctions? So, there are actual, uh, let's go first with our definition. Let's uh, define first what are conjunctions, okay? Now, conjunctions connects words, phrases, or clauses from the word conjunct. That means the joining together, okay? Now, different kinds of conjunctions join different kinds of grammatical structures. And these conjunctions are also called joining words. Okay, so uh, there are four types of conjunctions. Okay, children, there are four types of uh, conjunctions. We have the coordinating conjunctions, correlative conjunctions, conjunctive adverbs, which we have talked about last time when we talk about adverbs, and we are also going to learn about subordinating conjunctions. Okay, now let's go first to coordinating conjunctions. Coordinating conjunctions are used to link words, phrases, or clauses of equal importance that's the key word there equal importance that means pare parehas lang sila og meaning they have the same ah uh, not not meaning they have the same weight okay uh, of of statements okay let's have uh, our example for coordinating conjunctions and which you have learned if you are with me last year is coordinating conjunction is fanboys okay so fanboys means for and nor but or yet and so and conjunctions connect words to words phrases to phrases and clauses to clauses dili pwede nga words ug phrases ang iyang i-connect just like here in this example words for words for words to words most children like cookies and milk this is our conjunction here and ang ang ato ang gi-connect the thing that we are connecting is cookies and milk okay now let's go to phrases to phrases. The boy is hidden at the beach or by the lakeside. So that means ang kaning at the beach is being connected by by the lakeside by the word or. Clauses to clauses. Jilza will go shopping, but she has to do a chore first. So that means ang kaning clauses, remember clauses have a subject and a verb, diba? So subject and a verb. So Kana siya nga clause connected to the other clause by the word but. Okay? And these are uh, a more kanang, uh, what they call this, a more detailed description of the fanboys. So, uh, I want you to pause this video, take down notes of this. Mauni ato ang gamito. Let's say, for example, for four. So, kung four gani, another word ani niya kay since or because. Uh, I do not eat buttons for they are not food. Okay, when they use and to combine things, he robbed the bank and torched a truck. So, nakita ninyo, bank, uh, robbed the bank and torched a truck. So, pare-parehas lang sila o kanang statements. Okay, pare-parehas sila o structures of statements. Nor, when you say nor, we combine untrue things. Okay, she won't leave the house nor will she speak with others. When you say but, when ex we express exceptions. So we, we used every building material but chewing gum. So that means, wala ay labot ang chewing gum sa ilang gibuhat. Or, when you say or, you choose between options. Would you rather have a pet bear or a pet giraffe? Yet, when you say yet, to the contrary. Okay? So I want to leave. Yet, I cannot. Okay? To the contrary, I cannot. Okay? Next, so, so, when you use so, it shows consequences. Shen is allergic to shrimps, so she did not order the seafood platter. Okay? So, maon ang consequence kay allergic man si Shen o shrimps. Okay? Now, let's go to correlative conjunctions. Correlative conjunctions are pairs of conjunctions. Can you see, ah? They go with pairs. Okay? Pairs of conjunctions equal or parallel structures after each one that means pare 
Parehas gapon sa katong gisulti ninyo ba niya? Word to word, phrase to phrase, clause to clause. Okay? And here are the examples of correlative conjunctions. So you have the either or. Now, either or, that means you are, uh, uh, tawag na to, ani? Gipapili ka o duha ka butangs. You are uh, choosing two things. Okay? So let's say, for example, I want either the cheesecake or the chocolate cake. So duha ay mong pilian. Neither nor. So, op ang neither nor is opposite sa either nor. So, if mo choose ka sa duha kabutang sa either or, sa neither nor, you are rejecting both options. You are not choosing anything. Let's say, for example, neither Lee nor Gail got the last slice of pizza. So, that means not Lee and not Gail ang nakakuha sa last slice of pizza. Next one, both and end. Let's say both and end. We, they establish connection. Okay? So, the first place award goes to both Carl and Ken. So, kani silang duha, they are connected by the award. Okay? Not only, but also. Okay? I think this is very explanatory. Not only, but also. Diba? So, let's just like here in our example. If we will have in-person classes, we will, ha we will have not only relief for the teachers, but also socialization for the students okay and i really hope that you're excited to have in-person classes oh, mag in-person classes tan ninyo eh kay masindot man ni eh. itudlo og kanang kuan in person okay next as or so or oh, as and so okay so an as and so establishes consequences and this is used in a formal way okay um, ma madunggan ninyo in a formal way and there's a movie Nga nagamit po ani, if I think this is the title, As Above, So Below. Diba? And this is a horror movie, so ayaw mo watch ani. Kay horror ni siya. So, As Above, So Below. So, kung saan nasa babaw, maupo na nasa ubos. And it establishes consequences. Whether or, whether or is similar to, similar to either or. Okay? Pare Parepareses is sa either or. So, whether you like wings, or you like fries, you will find them at wingers. Not on but. Okay? So, not on but is also self-explanatory. I see you're in the mood. You're, you're in the mood not for desserts, but appetizers. I'll help you with those too. Okay? And rather than, okay? She'd rather play dr the drums than sing. Okay? So, those are our correlative conjunctions. Now, let's go to our conjunctive adverbs and we talked about this one very briefly during the adverb part of our lesson now here conjunctive adverbs conjunctions that join independent clauses together okay so uh, two independent clauses iyang combine and these are the list of all the uh, of the most commonly used conjunctive adverbs and i hope you are going to take them down in your notebook okay you can pause this video if you like now, let's go to an example sa conjunctive adverbs. Okay? Okay, there. See, the tire was flat. Therefore, we searched for a vulcanizing shop. So that means, ang kaning uh, conjunctive adverb there is connecting the tire was flat and we searched for a vulcanizing shop. Okay? And notice, notice, nag, nag start ba sila bago nga sentence? Wala, di ba? Unsa ilang gibuhat? They put a semicolon here. And after the conjunctive adverb, they put a comma. Okay? Same put. When you use conjunctive adverbs, this is how you are going to use the conjunctive adverbs. Colon and then comma. Okay? So, it was a hot day. Colon. Nevertheless, comma. The construction workers finished the project today. Okay? So, that is how you are going to use the conjunctive adverbs. Next, we are going to go with our subordinating conjunctions. Dili na subordinating ha. Subordinating conjunctions. Now, these are used to connect words, phrases, and clauses of unequal importance. That means, dili sila parihas. Not the same with the coordinating conjunction that they are just, they are connecting equal. Oh, uh, uh, words, phrases, clauses with equal importance. Subordinating conjunction is Unequal importance. That means, na ay ipa-obus nga statement. Okay? 
and I will tell you I will tell you why this is called a subordinating conjunction later on but let's continue here the subordinate clause explains why where or when something is happening nga nung nahitabo ang sabutang asa nahitabo nga nung nahitabo kano sa mahitabo it's all stated in the subordinate clause and I will explain the subordinating clause later but before we ex before I explain make sure you write these examples of subordinating conjunctions okay so, pause this video and list these subordinating conjunctions now. Okay. Now, I promised you uh, a while ago that I will tell you why it is called a subordinating conjunction. Okay. So, we have this statement. I hope that you can see the pointer. Okay. Kaya na ang nani say pointer. Ay. I, uh, imagine na lang ako pointer here. Okay. So, we have an example. Before she started, she put on some gloves. So we have the two statements here being connected. We have she put on some gloves and before she started. When we remove the before she started, imagine niyo kwa ano yung before she started. So ang sentence na lang she put on some gloves. Does the sentence make sense? Yes, de ba? It does make sense. But let's remove she put on some gloves before she started ra tung sentence. Does it make sense? The only the words before she started. Does it make sense? Diba dili? So that means, that means, there's some, that means, ang kaning before she started is being subordinated or gipa under siya. Sa kanang she put on some gloves. Okay? Same po sa we have an umbrella because it is raining. We have an umbrella? Yes, it is a sentence. Because it is raining? No, it is not a sentence. Therefore, kinahanglan siya isumpay. It has to be connected to a Full sentence, like we have an umbrella. Okay, next one. Although she loves Sir Reginald, Lady Penelope hated his pranks. Lady Penelope hated his pranks is actually one sentence. Okay, but is although she loved Sir Reginald a complete sentence? Diba dili? Because that word or that statement there is a subordinate to the Lady Penelope blah 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 there. Okay? And that is why it is called a subordinating conjunction. Kaya kung kanin lang sila before she started, because it is raining, although she loves her Reginald, kanin lang, if kanin lang yun sila, they cannot stand alone. That's why they have to have a body. Okay? And they cannot survive without their body. Okay? So I hope I explained the uh, subordinating, subordinating conjunctions clearly to you. Thank you for listening and I hope to see, see you. And I do not hope I, I, I will see you on our next video regarding preposition. So thank you everyone for watching and God bless you.